So I have a, this big rectangle here that's divided into four smaller rectangles. And what I want to do is I want to express the area of this larger rectangle. And I want to do it two ways. The first way I want to express it as the product of two binomials. And then I want to express it as a trinomial. So let's think about this a little bit. So one way to say, well, look, the height of this larger rectangle from here to here, we see that that distance is x. And then from here to here, it's 2. So the entire height right over here, the entire height right over here is going to be x plus 2. So the height is x plus 2. And what's the width? Well, the width is we go from there to there is x. And then from there to there is 3. So the entire width is x plus 3. x plus 3. So just like that, I've expressed the area of the entire rectangle, and it's as a product of two binomials. But now let's express it as a trinomial. Well, to do that, we can break down the larger area into the areas of each of these smaller rectangles. So what's the area of this purple rectangle right over here? Well, the purple rectangle, its height is x, and its width is x. So its area is x squared. Let me write that. That's x squared. What's the area of this yellow rectangle? Well, its height is x. Same height as right over here. Its height is x. And its width is 3. So it's going to be x times 3, or 3x. It'll have an area of 3x. So that area is 3x. So if we're summing up the area of the entire thing, this would be plus 3x. So this expression right over here, that's the area of this purple region plus the area of this yellow region. And then we can move on to this green region. What's the area going to be here? Well, the height is 2, and the width is x. So multiplying height times width is going to be 2 times x. And we can just add that, plus 2 times x. And then finally, this little gray box here, its height is 2. We see that right over there. Its height is 2, and its width is Three, we see it right over there. So it has an area of 6, 2 times 3. So plus 6. And you might say, well, this isn't a trinomial. This has four terms right over here. But you might notice that we can add, that we can add these middle two terms. 3x plus 2x. If I have 3x's and I add 2x's to that, I'm going to have 5x's. So this entire thing simplifies to x squared, x squared plus 5x plus 6, plus 6. So this and this are two ways of expressing the area. So they're going to be equal. And that makes sense, because if you multiplied out these binomials and simplified, you would get this trinomial. We could do that really fast. You multiply the x times the x. Actually, let me do it in the same colors. You multiply, you multiply the x times the x. You get the x squared. You multiply this x times the 3 you get your 3x. You multiply. You multiply the 2 times the x. You get your 2x. And then you multiply the 2 times the 3, and you get your 6. So what this, what this, as you can see, this area model does for us is it hopefully makes a, a, a visual representation of why it makes sense to multiply binomials the way we do. And we, in other videos, we talk about it as applying the, distribu the distribution property twice. But this gives you a, a more visual representation for why it actually makes sense.